All right, guys, just getting back from flying. I uh, wanted to give you a quick update. I did some line of sight 3S on the original Shuriken 180, which still flies great. Uh, good flying quad. Uh, overall, quite nice. Uh, I did have air mode set up on here. It does have a little bit of a challenge handling the air mode. Uh, for whatever reason, it just seems unsolid. It gets a little confused. The flight controller gets stressed and it doesn't, uh, can't figure out what it needs to do. So it is definitely challenged. Now, as I said, I, this is all box stock. I have not updated firmware, have not done anything outside of get on, uh, clean flight, set up my switches uh, and my throttle cut and everything. And that's pretty much it. This guy's a little dirty. I'll explain that in a second. But this is a better quad. Uh, more powerful motors. Uh, higher KV motors by 50, but it is the torque of the 2205s with the four bladers. The thing rips, and I only flew it on 3S today. Uh, it's faster, it's uh, more stable, uh, flies great. The beta flight settings on here, stock, are fantastic. Um, but it is, a, it is a much nicer quad in the overall in terms of performance. Doesn't mean this one can't be tuned to get there, because it surely can. But out of the box, this guy is your better option. Um, it handles, uh, I have it on air mode as well, and this one handles air mode like all of my high level quads, my uh, high performance quads. So it's set up right, it flies like a bigger quad. Uh, your biggest challenge is getting a battery in there without getting clipped by these props. You can see there's very little clearance. So definitely a better version out of the box. This one we think can probably be tuned and get there, but anyway, just wanted to give you a comparison. GearBest sent this over. Thank you again, GearBest, uh, Sarah, for sending this over for review. It is a fantastic quad. I very much like it. I will put all the specs of this uh, Shuriken Pro, uh, Shuriken 180 Pro, in the description, as well as the link to GearBest where you can pick this guy up. Um, but uh, anyway, either one's a good choice. This guy's better set up out of the box PID-wise. So let's get to the dirt. I'm going to have about an hour of disassembly and rinsing off and cleaning, but uh, so I had thrown a couple of 3S packs through here. Uh, the last 3S pack I put in, and I was just doing 3S today, I didn't have any 4S's uh, charged for this, but my 3S pack that I had in there was a pack that hadn't been charged, so I charge it up right before I go to the field. Uh, obviously it could not handle uh, and had a big voltage drop mid-flight, so Mid-flight, actually was coming in for a landing because uh, I noticed it wasn't given the punch, so I knew there was an issue. It literally, the voltage crashed. It fell from the sky right into some mud puddles and literally skipped across the mud puddles. Uh, and then, of course, the battery recouped and it lifted out and I was able to land it in the grass and uh, keep it from getting any more damage. But you can see there is mud everywhere. I'm going to have to disassemble the whole thing and, and wipe the whole thing down. So... That's the excuse, uh, but it did fly great. When I did get to fly it, now I just got to clean it up and then I will get some uh, more videos done of it. I will do some FPV, I will do some 4S flights, line of sight, and then I'll put the session holder on top. We'll get the GoPro session out and we'll get some other video uh, so we can get some uh, at least some good flight footage of uh, what it's like flying around and uh, be able to show that. And then I'll, uh, I'll figure out something on this guy too, so I'll continue the comparison, but this one is definitely fantastic out of the box. I'm going to leave the PIDs and everything alone. I'm going to continue to fly it this way, and we'll see what it's like on 4S. But again, gear best. Sarah, thank you very much for this quad. Uh, very nice. Uh, uh, great opportunity to be able to review it for you guys. Uh, and it is thumbs up, guys. If you have a chance to pick one up, do so. They're both good. This one can probably be tuned to be much better than it is out of the box. But out of the box, this guy rocks. Two thumbs up, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody.